I'm Martin Faley, and I am the guitar luthier, one of the guitar luthiers here at Sweetwater, and I'm going to show you today how to properly restring your guitar. Uh, why you should restring your guitar, um, basically your strings uh, start to lose some of their tone when they get a little bit older, uh, they lose some of their uh, tuning stability, so uh, that's when you need to uh, get your strings changed, especially if you play every day. Uh, that's, that's generally uh, about every two weeks or so is when you need to change your strings. Uh, if you play, um, if you pick it up maybe once or twice a week or so, you could probably go a little bit longer, maybe even up to a month. But uh, I'd say after a month you should definitely have your strings changed. The guitar I have today is a PRS SE Custom straight from our warehouse. And uh, I've got a couple tools to uh, make this stringing process a lot easier. Uh, the tools I have today are a string winder with a cutter and a polish cloth. Okay, so let's get started. Basically just take the old string off by detuning it all the way. And you repeat with the other five strings. This is a great winder, by the way. It also has a cutter and a chromatic tuner and it is a Planet Waves winder. It makes the job go a lot easier with those other two components along with it. When all the strings are loose, you want to make sure you're careful with your bridge so it doesn't just fall off and drop off. You want to keep a hand on that as you're taking the old strings off. If you want to just remove the bridge, then you can easily take the old strings out. The easiest way to remove your old string is to expose a little bit of the ball end, put your clipper right in there, clip off the old head, and it removes off very easily. At this point, when you have all the strings off, uh, the fretboard's exposed, it's generally a good time to use uh, some conditioner on the fretboard uh, just to get rid of some of the oils and uh, make the fretboard shine really good. Okay, at this point, we are ready to restring this guitar. I am going to put a set of Diodarios on here. Uh, we also offer some Ernie Balls, as well as GHS strings, among others. Uh, we also have uh, Martin Acoustic and Elixir Acoustic strings available as well. I'm ready to put the string into the bridge. With this bridge, you actually put the string in through the front, pull it all the way through, and then we're gonna put it onto the bridge posts, and then it wraps around through the front over the top of the bridge, and then we're ready to put it in through the tuner. Uh, we're ready to wrap the string around the tuning key, and as a general rule, you should have three, maybe four wraps around the actual tuning post as a maximum. Uh, any more than that is just excessive, any less you may start losing some tuning stability. Well, we've got our few winds around there and we've got quite a bit of excess string, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clip that excess off. There's no need to have that in the way while we're tuning the rest of the strings up. Get it as close to the tuning peg as you can. And then move on.
And also as a note, when you're winding the string, make sure that the wind wraps down or towards the headstock. Not, uh, not up and definitely don't wind the winds on top of each other. And as I'm stringing, you'll notice my fingers are positioned in such a way so that this finger is actually pushing down on the string to allow the wraps to go down. And then my thumb is actually pulling on the rest of the string to allow the bridge to stay in place. All right, well the strings are on it and now we're ready to tune it to pitch. Uh, the first thing I do is I tune the lowest string, the low E, all the way up to pitch. Then I, then I continue with the A, and then the D, the G, the B, and the E. And uh, after those have been tuned, then we go back to the low E, and then we start to stretch out the string. And that's going to allow the string to wrap more tightly around the, the tuning head and it's also gonna allow the string to sit much better into the bridge. And so I'm gonna do that again, and I may even repeat it two or three more times just to make sure I get perfectly stable tuning. And at that point, you're ready to rock. What I've done today is tune the guitar to pitch by ear, but we offer a wide variety of tuners that help you quickly and accurately tune your guitar. I've shown you several products today related to tuning your guitar and stringing your guitar. If you have any other questions, call your Sweetwater sales engineer.